Tech Master, Hanny here, and such a cool over now. Today, we are doing a review of the brand new slash being six months old slash I couldn't actually get it for six months. Foxtel IQ5. Take a nice shot of it. <laughs> Most of you might not know what a Foxtel is. I can understand. I don't you know. might see the advertisements, but this is the new IQ5. This is the new IQ5. And as I was saying, Boxtel is paid TV, where you pay a company to give you TV from different channels. And so most of these channels come from a satellite. Editor Hanny, please place a satellite. There it satellite. is. Oh, that's a satellite, yeah, you can <laughs> see that one. Hopefully I added that incorrectly. Up on your roof. Well, not there, but on the roof roof. And also your antenna that connects to your TV underneath and plugs in. Which gives you, of course, your channel 7, channel 9, channel... You know the, you know the rule. Yeah. This satellite, satellite, connects to space. Space isn't up there, Cleo. You don't have to point up there, okay? So, but Foxtel, when they launched this thing in October, I think it was October 5th, they had one pure intention to provide internet streaming with a Foxtel box. And some of you might know the Google Chromecast with Google TV. That's almost exactly what this is like, if not the same. Except to settle up, you could probably still watch Foxtel on there. <coughs> um, so if you come have a look at this box, it has an external hard drive, so if we just look at this bottom part, you, you can still use the Foxtel box without it, but you can't record things. And this thing has one terabyte, which is 1,000 gigabytes, which is 10,000 megabytes, which is 100,000 kilobytes. Hopefully that's correct. This is the new Foxtel logo that they've changed like once every year. And this Foxtel box, I'll keep you up this way. Wait, right, stay there, clear. I present to you the Foxtel voice remote. And as you can see, this is the old logo, see? Like, Foxtel is very terrible at their logos. They just don't. They don't like to be up to date. They don't like to. But otherwise, Foxtel voice remote. Oh, actually, turn up the Foxtel now. Yeah. It connects via any net plus, so. HDMI CEC, which connects to your TV, and so you can turn off your Foxtel whilst also turning off the TV. Because if you think of it, your TV and your Foxtel are two devices. One device, two devices, three devices, a third device, it's a Wi Fi modem. Ooh. But you I can plug my, this Foxtel in. To my MacBook there, did I? I'm not sure if you can. No, you, don't, you need to show me your MacBook. Okay. Oh, oh sorry. <laughs> come up. And I'm connected to there using HDMI. And guess what? I can still get my internet streaming. So yeah, pretty nifty little box. If I can do the honors and I'll turn it on, see? TV's off into the red light. Foxtel's up, you can see the red, the red light. light. I press the Foxtel power button. Now let's wait. Foxtel lights on. Foxtel lights on, bring it a bit closer. TV's on now, oh yeah. TV's on. It takes a bit of time sometimes. We have the insurance. There we go. Okay, we can only see the news. There we go. 
Okay. This is the Foxtel. I just had this because it doesn't say it. It's not a TV channel. So this is what you see. And talking about it, this is Fox Sports. One of the main Foxtel channels. This is just telling you that they don't have any 4K Ultra HD. The one thing about this Foxtel, which wasn't in the pre-predecessor of it, was the, of the IQ3, is the 4K Ultra HD capabilities, which can give you the best, or well, second best video quality out there. You can, you can, you can move the cable. Yes! So this is just some highlights of it. Great. That won't really happen in normal cricket. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you what, that's great. And now that you turn it on, it's beautiful. So if you go to home right here, this gives you all your everything. You got your movies, it's the best thing, Google Box is my favourite show. And you got new to Foxtel, see? Uh, Foxtel Originals, watch list, I want to watch that. Continue watching, which is like, this is drama. You can also have Netflix, so this is, this is just all the movies, you know. It look a bit, um, a little flashy, but it's really not, it's yeah. just because of the camera. This is all just the, um, I'll do anti-flickering soon. Hey, you got Netflix, ready? Netflix. Also, with selected flock Foxtel packages such as pl Platinum Plus with Netflix and multi screen and everything, that is $139.50. No, now $140. <coughs> so you're getting quite a good saving on Netflix here, which I got. I used to pay $11 for Netflix and they even see you for. Pretty much free. <laughs> so you got your Netflix, your YouTube. Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you're not. My favourite. YouTube Kids, ABC iView, <laughs> um, um, Golf TV, PGA, just Vivo. So you know Vivo. You know Vivo, Vivo. It's like Spotify, but Vivo does all posts all the music videos onto YouTube. They're just they're just ABC Kids. And SPS on demand. Okay. This is not available in my heads up. I'm just not available in Australia. So here are your search bars, apps, which you just home, that's already showed you. TV guide, your TV guide, you know what's it? SNL. Um Ultra HD and HD channels. <coughs> These are all your HD. There are hundreds of channels. I'm not gonna scroll down. But you got your library, so all your recorded channels. And movies. This is, These are, this is the movies. You get free movies with Foxtel. Um, TV shows. And this is not a sponsor. No, it's not sponsored. Technically, don't really like the... We just like it. Yeah. <laughs> we like Foxtel. Foxtel's amazing, but you don't... You don't really... The service is terrible. So as you can see, Ultra HD Fox. Ultra HD Money's Play. Ultra HD... Um, Formula One. Oh! F1 Australia's coming! But yeah. And you got your kids. Hey! I've never watched Nickelodeon Anna and Friends of Blaze and Monster Machines. Yeah. But yeah. And then you got your store where you pay. Like, Sing 2. Stuff that you, that, that is very new and after, like, this is new. This is probably new. I don't know. That's Sing 2 is so good. Swing's new. But yeah. You got, that's new. Shane. Yeah, rest in peace. And Kanto. We don't talk about Jeffrey, Jeffrey. And you got James Bond, you got, you got everything here. Nothing over $6. Cruella, Cruella. Cruella. It's up there. Me nothing, and Irina watched that one. Nothing over $6, that's great. And I tell you what, better than, you got 4K Ultra HD, I don't know. You also got your main events, which is only available on the Foxtel box. It's not available on the Foxtel Go app. So like boxing and WWE and all that. One thing we'll show you here is that if we come in, just come in here, come in, sisters, come in.
come down here. It got everything connected. Now, if you come back up, one thing some people get confused with. Pause it, pause it. Turn it off. Sorry guys, we have literally three interruptions in the span of five minutes. But off we are back again and you don't have to follow me. Now we're digging deep into your foxtail. Digging deep. Digging your tech master. Okay, so first thing first, with foxtail you can do parental control. Back. Okay. Um, Favourite channels, you can choose your favourite channels. I do not select these favourite channels. My dad does. Oh, you just choose, you just choose the favourite channels. Your internet connection. Mm. So you're, you can stream 4K with internet speed test. 49 megabyte speeds. Which isn't actually the real speed, but for some reason it's still a Fox L calls it. But yeah, you got your advanced settings. Just sitting. So look, we got set top box, HDMI output, 4K Ultra HD. Hey, look at that. I can get 4K, which I do have 4K. And this just tells you all the funny looking Samsung made the TV, same. And the same says the TV model number. Okay, that's great to know. Audio and language. So you see, so you can just do <coughs> Now remote control settings. HDMI CEC, this is what we're talking about. Turn your TV on or off with your Fox remote. The TV must support HDMI CEC and can be activated to use this feature. The experience with this feature may vary depending on the type of TV you have. For more information, visit foxo.com.au forward slash CEC troubleshooting. And this is the volume control. The volume control does not work. It's very buggy and does not work. It actually like, it has bugs with it. So if we go back, this tells you all your software version, the battery life in your remote, and your model number of your remote. System decals. This just tells you everything. You should have. Status screens. Oh, don't worry about that. Hard drive status. This tells you how your hard drive is. We can see that it has 926 gigabytes left. It's currently 49 degrees in this little thing right here. Did I just turn off? I just turned off the Foxtel. Could you press the button? I did. I have to wait a million years to turn it back on. Actually, no, I don't have to wait a million years, but it's quite annoying. I don't think you're going to be alive for a million years either. And guys, Thank make you. sure you subscribe. Make sure you subscribe. Like the video if you can. Ah! Oh. Like it. Smash it. Go back. Okay. Smash it. Go back to the. So yeah, we were in that remote settings. Now we can go to the recording. This is literally nothing. Terrestrial channels. So look at this, guys. So currently, we got all these channels. And it's connected like to the satellite. So they're all connected to the satellite. Day. Yeah, Fox Hill. That's what we're but They're all with. connected to the satellite. And you, if you want, you can change it to the terrestrial. <coughs> whatever you want. <coughs> but currently, I have it connected to the satellite for no reason at all. I just think it's. I actually don't know. I might change it. Um, but terrestrial is what all TVs have by themselves privacy. No. But yeah, great. It's a great user interface. I wish they could create a new user interface, Foxtel, and make it a bit curvy. Curvy. So a few more curves, you know. But it's great user interface. You got. But now they've added all these advertisements. SML, Brian's. Britain's Lost Battlefield. It's what a great thing to watch in history. Couldn't have you watched any of these? No, live from you got Saturday Night Live, but you got you got your music and digital audio. It plays. No, but oh, copyright, copyright, copyright. But you got all your special interest channels such as Antenna Radio, Antenna Pacific, Pacific, Dalimera, Rukzuk, 
got Rai Italia, Speciale TG1, and then you got Rai Radio 1, so Italian Radio in Greek. So yeah, that's about it with this review of this box. If I can, if you can wait a couple of seconds, so you will stay here. Wait, then turn off, then turn off. And guys, this is not an advertisement for Foxtel. I just love it. But the grip, a terrible service. This, oh gosh. This was the old Foxtel box. Foxtel RQ3. Size comparison? <laughs> yeah, not too big. So that's this, this one, and this is that one. Wow. It's quite heavy as well, dude, compared. <laughs> But thank you guys for <coughs> this video. Hope you have a marvelous day or evening. And I hope to see you guys very, very soon. Love yours. See ya.